you know what are salts right now if i ask you to name a salt you'll simply say common salt sodium chloride that is used to add taste to your food now do you know that apart from just adding taste to your food it also has other uses let's see what well it is used in cooking adds taste to our food and it is also necessary for our health well it is used for curing fish and meat products and also used as a preservative that is why pickles contain a large amount of salt and it is mixed with ice to make a freezing mixture which has lower melting point than ice now it is also used in the manufacture of chlorine hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide now sodium chloride is also used in manufacturing soaps now the common salt that is the sodium chloride also helps in maintaining the normal functions of a human body well it actually regulates the flow and volume of blood in our bodies now that is why when a person suffers from dehydration and cannot take in water and salts externally saline water is given to them now apart from common salt there are other salts as well and even they have various uses so let us learn about some other uses of other salts that is first one is washing soda that is sodium carbonate na2co3 dot 10h2o now this is a white powder just like salt now let us see what are the uses of washing soda well first of all as the name suggests it is used for washing clothes now it is also used in the manufacture of paper glass and caustic soda now washing soda is also used for refining petroleum it is used to manufacture textiles and dyes and it is used to make chemicals for food and beverage industry now washing soda is also used for removing permanent hardness of water you remember what is hard water well hard water contains carbonates of calcium and magnesium now washing soda is used in manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax which is very useful in industries now we have another salt which is baking soda which is chemically known as sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate you can see sodium hydrogen carbonate now again as the name suggests baking it is used as baking powder in baking industry now you have seen cakes puffing up this is because of baking soda now baking soda is also used in fire extinguishers it is also used as mild antiseptic and as antacid now have you ever wondered that baking soda is one of the ingredient of pakoras that is crispy pakoras now baking soda is also used in fast cooking now next we have chile salt peter which is nano3 now chemically it is known as sodium nitrate now this is a white crystalline solid mainly found in northern chile that is why it is named as chile salt peter and i told you that chemically it is sodium nitrate now what is this salt used for now it is used in manufacture of nitric acid fertilizers and solid rocket propellants next we have nitro that is potassium nitrate kno3 this is also a white crystalline solid now this is an important fertilizer now apart from being an important fertilizer it is used to make gunpowder fireworks and glass as well next we have the blue vitriol or you can say 
copper sulfate, which is CuSO4.5H2O. This is a blue crystalline solid. You can see that. Now, this is used as fungicide in agriculture. It is also used for dyeing and electroplating purposes. Next, we have gypsum, which is calcium sulfate. That is CaSO4.2H2O. Now, where is gypsum used? Now, gypsum is used in preparation of plaster of Paris and for making statues and in the cement industry. Also, gypsum is used for fabrication of walls and boards, just like you can see in the picture. Next, we have plaster of Paris. Just now we learned that gypsum is used in manufacture of plaster of Paris. Now, chemically, plaster of Paris is calcium sulfate with half a molecule of water. You can see in the formula CaSO4, that is calcium sulfate, with half molecule of water. Now, this is also called POP, as in the short of plaster of Paris. Now, what is it used for? It is used for plastering fractured arms and legs and also to give support to broken bones. Now, it is also used in making cast molds and sculptures. Next, we have potash alum, that is KALSO4 twice dot 12H2O. Now, this is a double salt of potassium sulfate and aluminum sulfate, and it is commonly called fitkari. Now, you may have heard or you may have seen your grandparents or your neighbors using fitkari to dissolve it in water and clean or purify water. That is, it is used for loading, that means for quick sedimentation of suspended particles in water, that is the impurities present in water. Next, it is also used as an antiseptic and in the dyeing industry. Next, we have the green vitriol, that is ferrous sulfate. You can see FeSO4.7H2O. This is green vitriol. It has pale green crystals, just like you can see in the picture. Now, green vitriol is an important constituent of blue-black ink. Now, it is also used as a mordant, that means a substance used to set dyes on fabrics in the dyeing industry and as an insecticide in agriculture. Next, we have the Epsom salt, that is MgSO4.7H2O. Now, this is a white crystalline solid. Chemically, it is hydrated magnesium sulfate. It has numerous health benefits and it is a good source of magnesium. Now, it is also used in gardening of plants. And it releases muscular tension, pain and inflammation of joints. Now, Epsom salt is used to cure dry skin, sore muscles and small wounds as well. Next, we have the smelling salt, that is the ammonium carbonate. So, ammonium carbonate is the main component of smelling salt and it releases ammonia gas, which has a pungent smell. That is why it is known as the smelling salt. Now, how is smelling salt useful? Well, smelling salt is useful to wake up an unconscious person due to its pungent smell. Now, it is also used to cause faster breathing in athletes. Next, we have silver nitrate, that is AgNO3. This is used for treatment of sores, infections, and it is an excellent antiseptic. Next, it is also used in photography. Now, silver nitrate is an important laboratory reagent. Next, we have bleaching powder. You must have heard this term at your homes as well, where bleaching powder is used to clean up things. 
Now bleaching powder is used for disinfecting drinking water to make it free of germs. It is also used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries. Now also it is used for bleaching cotton and linen in the textile industry. Here bleaching refers to making things white or you can say removing any sorts of color that is already present on them. It is used in bleaching wood pulp and paper because paper is white and it is also used in bleaching wash clothes in industry so as to remove any stains that is uh, there on the clothes. So these were the variety of salts and their respective uses.